always nice when they finally make their way outside. So they've actually been in their pen for about three days now and they've been getting acclimated to the inside of this lean-to and not so much out here. So to see these guys out here is just so wonderful. It's good because I know um, most chicks are kind of hard to acclimate to areas that they're not used to. So I'm uh, more than ecstatic to see them out here and starting to learn to forage because it is a learned skill. And since they aren't raised by a hen, they have a little bit of a sharper learning curve. But I am a little leery. I only saw four out of 15 out there. So I'm just in here now and I don't see them in here. I'm just hoping they're back there in this corner. And they are. Whew. You didn't need another episode about hide and seek with guinea pigs. So you guys can see, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. Like in the dark corner. Staying in a nice cool dirt. I see four out there. I do not see 11 back here. So I'm going to try to flush them out of there and uh, figure out what's going on. Hi, right, so there's not 11 of you back in here. Where is everyone? I only see five. One, two, one. So where are the other six? Huh. Okay, yeah, I'm sure it likes six. They usually all stay together, so the fact that they're not all together kind of worries me. Oh my gosh, round two. So right now I'm just trying to listen. We have some monstrous hawks guys out here, like, and ospreys that are pretty big. So I'm just trying to listen, like look around. Okay, I see one. These guys are the masters of hide and seek, masters. Everybody else stand up. Why are you out? Oh look, they're getting they're getting their little waddles kind of. See those little waddles? Oh cool. <sighs> Guys, no sooner did I find the one and put it back in, another one, because that one freaked out, flushed out, like just straight up and out, which I I should have known that. But it makes me feel <laughs> I've got lots of guineas out in my field right now that uh, I have no idea where they are, what they're doing. I was not prepared for this excursion of hind seek. So there were, we're back to the nine because the one flew out. We would have been 10 and had five out, but he flew and flushed and much like a pheasant, wherever they're at, they're just kind of like hunkering down and letting that beautiful feathering that they have just mask him so I love a good game of, of hide-and-seek and I'm super competitive see a guinea I can't well this bites maybe they'll go back in at night so I don't know we'll have to wait and see how this goes guys stay tuned guineas one, Ashley zero, and I feel like it's soon to be guineas two, Ashley zero, so. <sighs> Farm life. I just found one, and he saw me coming. See that soybean field? Do you want to guess where the guinea went? Yeah, he went out in that soybean field, way out there. So, he lives in the soybeans now. And here's the way I look at this. These guys are small and they're social. He will come back in this direction, especially if they start calling, he will call back or she and find their way back. So for right now, I'm gonna let them be because this is what I have them for. This is 
Ashley being a control freak and not found one guys that is the top of my barn <laughs> I heard one doing like <laughs> the normal buckwheat 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 and came out here and he just oh there's one up here guys I don't know can you see it right there this little dot all right I know where two of them <laughs> I cannot believe this guys this is crazy I don't know if that's the same one, guys, but there's another one. There's actually two right there. I cannot believe this. I can't believe this, guys. Two. So there's three on the roof. Three on the roof. One in the soybean field. Nine inside. So that's two that I'm a little unsure where they're at. But that's really good. Because I was really worried with them being out here. I'm like, well, I hope they don't stay on the ground because... They're known to roost very high to stay out of the reach of predators. So that's one of the reasons why I kind of like them. They kind of protect themselves, whereas dorky old chickens got that big fluff butt that can't get in the air. And uh, not these guys. So I am. I kind of like guineas. They scare me to death, but I kind of like them. Just found one of the guineas. I'm down here um, getting the bucks water ready for them because they need new water. And um, was just kind of sitting down here being real still and chilling out and uh, heard the buckwheat, buckwheat, buckwheat. Looked over and a uh, little fella is running through the woods over here, which is fine. There he is, kind of chilling out. I'm glad to see that because I was a little stressed. They didn't roost up on the barn last night, so it's been two days since the last time we came back with you guys about these guineas getting out. And um, yeah, I didn't see them last night. I heard them out in the um, soybean field. This guy's all by himself, so I would love to push him towards the field, but I honestly feel like I'll push him further into the woods by messing with him. So I'll just let mother nature and its instincts take over, so. There's that, guys. Found a guinea. June, do you mind? A guinea? No, Django. No. A guinea? Django, no. Bingo. Hey, come here. What do you guys think about your neighbor? Oh, you like him? I think he's pretty swell myself. So the lesson today, I guess, is to just let the guineas do their own thing and we'll deal with it from there. It's been kind of tough. I'm really used to the chickens that stick around and like I can see, but since they're more like game birds, it makes a lot of sense that at this age, they kind of just tucked down and are still when you get near them and then flush so I've been able to hear them around our property and I do still have eight over on the other side here that are sticking in um, in that indoor run that's got an indoor outdoor access so I think I'm just gonna call it there guys guineas are just really giving me a really sharp learning curve which is good though I, I really enjoy learning about different types of animals so while I might not be 100% comfortable with them yet, I am really starting to warm up to the idea of having them and they're just really neat, like all the way around, really neat. And what's one more species to the menagerie that we have here on Mulberry Branch Farm? With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. If you guys wanna keep up with me, my little farm and my little family on a more regular basis, feel free to go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. There'll be links for that down in the description below. Uh, if you felt the need to wanna see more, that's awesome. We have a lot of videos for you to see and you can easily see them if you subscribe. But if you subscribe, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you get a little reminder when we've got a new adventure that we wanna bring you along here on Mulberry Branch Farm. If you have guineas, why don't you go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know what some of your favorite things about them are and what are some of your not so favorite things about them. I'll take any helpful hint that I can at this point, but until next time guys, thanks so much for being here with me. Remember to stay healthy and be kind out there. Bye.
June. No June.